late deep dive on just regular Hazard 6x2 Shattered Hideout. This is an older deep dive. Uh, this is an older recording, I believe. I think this is before even the Season 1 or Season 2 weapons came out. So it is using the... Well, that is a while ago. Uh, he, yeah, it would be. So that we're noting the differences here as well. Yes, there's no, there's no new grenades, so it's just so we've got impact access, IFGs, clusters, and lures. There's no new weapons, so the it's basically one of the more original versions of the fire comp: sticky fuel, persistent plasma, active stability system, a boomstick of your preference, burning hell, a volatile bullets. EM Discharge and Inferno is uh, one of the latest switch-ups in the fire comp, having roll control oh. actually dominate the slot as of late. Yeah, worth noting the differences here as well. So in in the in that back then, EM Discharge would do friendly fire damage. Yes, that's true. It is that is very but true. Other other stuff seems to have mostly stayed the same as back then the, as when the dive happened yes i do i don't think there are any other notable changes yeah an interesting note uh for build choice uh gunner is taking the extra big shield instead of the extra duration shield yeah i feel like shield build is pretty much personal preference as a at as as I don't think there's like an optimal shield build though. Yeah, I mean it's kind of hard to say. I am of the opinion that duration shield is probably generally the best because the duration mods give you three seconds of duration each, even though it says only yeah. one point five seconds on the stat card. Yeah, and I do like I do a like table. a more balanced shield. Yeah, and I think that the with the first radius mod in tier one. The shield is generally big enough. Yep. Aside from right, that, I, think... I don't think there's anything notable about the loadouts, so I will just. This play. is also 60 nitra for resupply, right? Uh. Let me see if I can get I that think, from the build. I think usually, like old six by two dives are down on 60. Yes, this is a 60 nitra resupply cost, no starting nitra. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So the first stage is an egg mission. They are pacing aggressively, going straight through the first egg. Interesting. They had a small mag uh, immediately. Yes, this could actually be fortunate because every other egg they pull after is not going to be a swarm egg. Yeah, that is true for 4x, yeah. So, drillers, I think, quickly making out a good hold location for them back in spawn. Yep. On fire. No. Yeah, the Note be, they, can, they can spawn in the in the hole created by the drop pod on the initial landing. Yeah. Would like to see some more repellent being set up here. Wow, the gas exploded. Definitely. I've never seen before. Who provided this? But if most of the enemies are spawning behind the tunnel, then repellent here doesn't make that much of a difference. Right. Still good to also, have worth noting, yeah, yeah, worth noting that uh, drillers shouldn't be yeah, spending sticky yeah, fuel to ignite goobers when there are a lot of other ignition options on their team. That's true. Drillers sticky fuel should be primarily spent on uh, helping the team uh, fight against Ash and ground enemies. I think I think in one of the reviews by Masala, I think Masala also pointed that out some sometime. I don't remember exactly when, but I think PH did improve on that later uh, in later dives. Interesting. That does make sense though, because even though Driller is generally very uh, ammo efficient, uh, direct sticky or heat application is one of the least ammo efficient things the driller can do. Failing. 
it's not necessarily about ammo efficiency that much, it's more about the attention span. Like if drill is spending sticky fuel on igniting a goo bomber, they're not putting down sticky to help against the actual threats that driller is best dealing with. Uh, for example, like ground enemies like stashes and stuff. That makes sense. Because like Scout has Boomstick obviously, uh, Engineer has Inferno, and okay. and uh, who's other class? Gunner. Gunner. Yeah, Gunner obviously has uh, has uh, Burning Hell. Okay. Yeah, I guess. This is ah uh, yeah, this is pretty easy because all the spawns seem to be funneling through this little tight okay. oh, dirt oh, hole. Okay, hey, but as soon as this room turns down, they are pretty much pushing forward to the next objective, which is good. Oh, it's a ball. It's a ball. I just heard a growl. I thought so. That is a lot of grabbers. Yeah. And you lift goobers. A lot of goobers. A lot of nudicides. Uh, that might explain why there's only 50 jellies over here. So in this like... case, it's probably better to use persistent plasma because it creates an AOE effect that's probably better than dealing with like stragglers, straggler, nato sites as well. True. I literally hit the weak spot of the scooper and it didn't get hit. I also feel like maybe the team could have just pushed down the tunnel many, many because these just, are right don't right seem particularly right necessary to find a spawn. Yeah, so... In order to keep the pacing up, the team should generally try to stick together uh, and push push towards the dirt, whichever one they decide yeah, if, to do. If, if, the enemy, if the remaining enemy is not particularly threatening, you could just let Sticky do, the, do his job slowly and slowly using DOT to kill the enemies. So you could just take, as a team, you can push forward and take the stragglers behind you. True. It's good that the team is leading the folk away from the black box that they need to hold, as having the detonator blow up on the black box would be terrible. It would be terrible. Yeah. Very bad. And there goes the folk. Good opportunity for his advice. Yeah. Why? Okay. This black box is in an awkward, a somewhat awkward location. Well, you actually gotta try and plug it up. I'm thinking of a way, like if I just plug it up. Yeah, there's there, there might be something you can do. Yeah, it's always worth making black box. Uh, like yeah. even if you have to drop it down the level or whatever, yeah. Just yeah. making it a good fighting location is quite important. Yeah. It's worth spending the prep time for it. Because even though you can try the black box of multiple times, it still is a very time consuming and dangerous process. And also consume a lot of ultra. Yeah, you want the best odds for the first time. Notable exceptions include if Nemesis decks below you. This run is already scuffed for me. Very unfortunate. Scout is down. Gunner is going for revive already. <laughs> success? No, very not success. Ah, there's <laughs> the bulk was the, the bulk hole dug. Now nah, there's a random fucking hole here now. Oh what my! Is, what is hitting me? Bulk holes are not necessarily ideal oh, for holding. Oh, okay. so... No, it's not. Usually, so we you want to one hole limit to have the directions show up. that the box that the bugs can come from. Uh, in this case, it's also, it's also worth noting that back then, bug repellent platforms weren't very uh, well known, or rather well understood. Understood, yeah. Yeah. And while I believe they have repellent, I don't know how much they uh, will utilize it. I think it's because like now nowadays, like the usage of repellent platforms is like repeatedly drilled into everyone's mind that people do yeah. not use it a lot but back then I don't think there was such a luxury
the whole location's looking a lot better. Yeah. So, so if I had a drawing tool, I would draw out some repellent locations, but we don't, but that's fine. So some repellent on the ledge is very ideal to prevent them from going up the ledge from like an angle you can't see. Yep. Uh, putting some platforms on the on the side edges can also force them to go to either the ceiling or the floor, but you can put some repellent on the ceiling to force them to go cluster on the floor. Yeah, especially around that ledge though, because it's yeah. a very short, very it short is, path. Yeah. yeah, it is good that engineer blocked off potential entries uh, that they don't, the team doesn't want to deal with. That's very good for, for uh, preventing divided attention, so that's good. Yes, that can make it easier to focus on one side. Yeah. I do also like that the team is supporting Scout to achieve projectors or mine Nitro in the meantime. Yeah. Some a mistake teams can make uh, in modded is that they lead, try to well let Scout deal with all the stations alone, which usually doesn't end up end up too well. Yeah, sometimes it the works point. and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I, I want to uh, condition that on higher difficulties. And the times when it doesn't is when it really gets. Yeah. Get, can get spicy. Run yeah. fucking walk there. Also, always worth communicating that if you have a resupply down, that engineer needs to plug the hole. Sometimes it's not easy for engineer to notice that the resupply has dropped behind you. Yeah. Bugs can spawn inside that resupply hole. Not. not it's effectively like opening up a new direction for the bug for the team to have to pay attention to. Yeah, but otherwise this area is prepped very well. Also a good zip line in case things get too spicy and they need to, I don't know, escape somewhere. So, yeah. But this should be a very easy black box. Yeah. They don't kill each other. Praetorian! Calling on Praetorian and such is also a good practice because sometimes you want the people who can deal with uh, Praetorians and such to well, deal with it, while well, you can focus on other things. It's also worth sometimes to call out your TCFs in case people accidentally hit it and then explodes in your face, taking and then makes you take heavy heavy damage. Yeah. Minus. It can sometimes be a good idea to try to stand slightly separated from the team so that your TCFs yep. are coming out at us. But I, at yeah, I do angle. see the bug repellent platform on the floor, so that's good. Yes. O on the ledge, not, not necessarily on the floor. That did seem to help. Yeah. Putting repellent around, like a slightly like around the uh, turrets when you're using EM discharge is also very useful for keeping clear line of sight onto the turret so you can actually proc EMD. Yeah, that's a little extra strategy that can be quite helpful. I'm very great. Because obviously, yeah. even though EMD is best when the bugs are close to the turrets, if you can't shoot the turrets, it's completely useless. Alright. <laughs> Egg time. So now that they've, they've got this good hole, they have no reason to leave it for grip while they grab the eggs. They can just reuse this hold and wait for Scout to pull the eggs. Or if eggs are reachable by other team members, they can also pull it. So th this is kind of cool. They uh, appear to have coordinated egg pulls. Yep. That's also a good strategy for saving a lot of nitro and time. Time, especially. Yeah. If you can, though. Especially when Although you I would argue that time is not really the, not really a good metric because it's okay if you take some time to if it makes you feel safer and it's, if you take it more method methodically, but it's more more that it saves a lot of nitro. True. Does make sense? Obviously, yeah. uh, nitro usage is pretty much proportional to time. Slight downside here is that Gunner did not have the easy way to get back. Ooh. Yeah, generally a good tip to yes, a here. good tip to keep in mind is you always want to be able to quickly regroup in case there's a ambient swarm or non swarm. You don't want everyone uh, the non scouts to be like disjointed and they can't go back. That'd be a bad bad split. Yes. 
I would argue that Krillin should also shouldn't be using sticky fuel to try to ignite grabbers, although it's less of a concern in this situation. Depends. Because fire is good. I mean, if, if, if you're using, if you're igniting the, the oh, grabber so. just so that it doesn't grab you, I think that's justified. But I don't think you should be tra focusing on igniting the grabber if you have ground enemies to do it. Oh, Seems fair. It, it's one of those micro optimizations that I don't, I don't think matters too much. I don't know what the next stage is, but I think it's reasonable that they're resupplying now. Yeah. Was? It can't be good to top off before the next stage in case, the uh, or if you know there's a, like an objective that has a lot of immediate stations. Especially if it's refinery. Yeah. Where you have no time to resupply. Or like six to eight eggs where you have like potential hot drops. Yeah, hot drops, yeah. Yeah, I went through the cheese and then I saw the crater and like, okay. Yeah, I, I remember now. This is kind of interesting because you really don't want to be staying near the drop on nope. when the door is not open. Because uh, things can things can and will spawn up there. Perfect example of how things just spawn right on the drop on, yeah. regardless of player. So that, that's so not where you want to be. I just want to preserve ammo and not like die. Yeah. I think people have gotten a lot better after early stages. I think I think after Q uh, after well, runs into bad dropout spawns in the in the final final stages, I think people do realize that it's a good idea to stay away from it. <laughs> yeah. Or at least, yeah, it's not a good idea to really hunt the drop pod unless you are, like, trying to clip in. Unless you can, you can and know that you will clip into it. Yeah. I think it, I think it, we should do it as soon as we get out of the pod, or as soon as the pod door is open. What, just bail? Yeah, just bail to the home. So I think I saw the next stage is uh... extraction. I, I don't I don't know what this uh, yeah, this just, stage is. Yeah, just set up your EMD first and then fail. Yeah. Oh, dude, uh, there is a con there is a potential concern of setting up turrets in the door. It, it does block a line of sight of a lot of the teammates. When we run out. Yes, and they do have a hitbox, so it can make it hard to see. But if the team is deciding to just directly go out and leave engine behind, which is potentially questionable. <laughs> uh, Setting the turret at door isn't right. that much of a I'm problem. Heading anymore. I'm heading home. Yeah. I am heading home. Oh, I think, I think they, just, they just want the turret set up and then I am everyone heading home. Goes. If you remember, uh, the old behavior of EM discharge allowed you needed to set up your turrets before you could move them around for EM discharge parts. Wait, but this is a good tunnel for the team to kite uh, encounter spawn into. So I don't yep. think the team has a big problem stabilizing. They seem to realize the loadout uh, at the layout of this cave, but maybe it's not the first attempt. I don't know. Not sure. Not sure. But, or maybe they just uh, they just planned like how to execute the initial initial uh, initial breach. Yes, it was a very good, a well coordinated breach. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. They did identify identify this cave, which is very good for init holding initially. So now I'm curious on what the team will do to push the objective forward. Okay, go pick up more. Yeah. All right, all the the little bit of ground here, here and there is fine. Okay. I, I, I do like the PH is pushing objective already. Yeah, lay, lay down some more sticky though. That might be best. You are really yeah. far, yeah. Gotta get a lay of the cave. Yeah, the danger of scouts splitting up is that if scout goes down, the team might have a really hard time of reaching them. Yeah, I, can't hit it. I think that iron roll was justified just to make pacing that much easier. I I think also scout has enough for maybe scout has enough for resupply, which could be important for the scout to put uh, put in the refinery. Oh, sorry, not the refinery. The mine head. Yeah. Before the first swarm hits. I'm less of a fan that the team seems to be holding here. I think the Where team should be trying to push objectives a bit more aggressively. Yeah, especially right before the first, 
Once the encounters have uh, right now. once the encounters have been emptied out of the cave, Spitballer? Uh, Spitballer. it's basically the beginning of the mission is the lowest pressure. So now we really want to kind of take care of stuff stationaries and push push objectives like uh, getting a quox and getting nitro and, and whatever the side objective is. Uh, they do have two eggs they have to kill, so that's another another storm they have to be aware of. Yes. You can stack swarms in this case by pulling a swarm egg with the first non swarm, but it's not necessary. Yep. Lit. Okay. Praetorian, where are you? Praetorians are very dangerous. Yep. That never changed. <laughs> never changes. Yes, yes. I'm calling resupply at home. So they're pushing they the eggs. I call the egg early, which is not a bad choice. Very good hold. I've been to home a total of two times because I've only been playing scout. Yeah, I, I really want, I really want the, to see that the team is pushing like a fox and whatever a bit more aggressively. But I guess they're pushing eggs also. That's fine. Platform. Okay, you already did. Mactera. In the repellent. Yep, the repellent should be quite helpful. Shell back, shell back. Shell back. Yeah, get ready. Yeah, the kind of has a low point though, so they do have to be aware of shell backs. I see, I see. Everyone's in my line of fire. Epic. Praetorian. I'm shielding. Got a little bit messy. Maybe the shield could have went out a little bit sooner. Rather than after people yes. went down. There's another menace. Yeah. It's lit, it's lit. Although that, the shield usage is kind of hard to judge when you're not a gunner in their P and with their information available in their POV in their context at, at that part of the time. Yeah. I died The large shield is kind of interesting because it covers their entire hold. Good call to bail because the team is getting a little bit shaken up and uh, getting overwhelmed. You always have the option to give up the hold if necessary. You don't have to hard commit to it. It's not your home. And the terrain right. outside of the hold is not uh, not bad hold? either. Yeah, they, they, it's a no good location to you kai to as well. Or well, they can always cycle around and recover. Okay. Rushing. There's so much behind you on my shield immediately. Right. Menace lit. You can tell. You can tell as well. Like uh, when these players are not as experienced as they as they are now, that uh, six by two is still pretty challenging. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pop the other end. I'd wager that these players at at their school of now, they can probably just hide the entire time and just keep pushing objectives if they really wanted to. After, I'd agree after with that assessment. Eggs, all of us need to move together and just get the Aquan together. That is a good call for the team to push up, forward with the objectives sucked. collectively. We just got fucking wrecked, dude. Was that yep. from the egg or what? The original swarm was point extraction swarm. This is egg swarm yeah, yeah, now. This is egg swarm now. Oh, that's the egg swarm. Yeah. It also shows that the team so, understands the swarm mechanics, which is something to be aware of. Yeah. Yep. And go together. Having someone, or uh, uh, having someone track those various spawns and their mechanics and their time can be very oh, useful yeah. to not make your teammates not surprised, be right, not surprised at incoming swarms. That can help take a lot of pressure off, especially like the egg I'm, pulling I'm egg swarms. Up top right now. Just yeah. you don't want to be okay, pulling an egg that you didn't think was a swarm and be surprised. Yeah. Scout's a bit down a bit far away, which is kind of unfortunate. I think this team needs to handle the this whatever swarm is and then I get the scout. This map is too open, so I can't grapple with anything. Yep. It is unfortunate. But fortunately, I don't think scout's too far away, so it's pretty easily recoverable. Behind. I had to guess they're probably over by the mine. Yeah. Grab early. Worth noting that enemies can attack you through the floor of the mine head and the uh, and the and the ramp, so it's something to be aware of. And that's, yeah, you can't lay any kind of sticky, and it's generally blocks your yeah, ability to shoot, to shoot well. the bugs, yeah. so it's just very oh, dangerous. Yeah. Oh, Praetorian Bind. Could have used drills here, or yep. earlier axe, but yeah. 
Girls don't run the risk of uh, self damage. Yeah. The shields here feel, uh, feel a bit too I reactive. Really Maybe no, they I'm could be more proactive in gaining space and preventing teammates from taking too much damage to go down in the first place. Right. Obviously, that comes with more experience, and I'm yeah. I'm sure that Cole is much better right. at that now. Yeah. You got shit on you, mate. That is also a very good call to let people know they are, they have a lot of enemies behind them. Yep. Okay, we all fucking went our own set. Oh, it's up there. Shooting up, however, is not oh! ideal. Okay. No. Especially when they had originally made a plan to push objective together. Yeah. I don't know what happened to the plan, but they got split up. I believe it was a uh, lack of realizing where exactly Scout was. Yeah. That can be problematic. I got what oh. right. That is it. unfortunate. I won't mind it. The problem with splitting, splitting up also is that teammates have to waste a lot of time going back to get you if you ever go down. Yes. I'm gonna call a reset at the minehead now. Okay. And after that, we all need just. And then your weaknesses, which are covered by teammates, like are now all suddenly all exposed. Okay. Right. Yes. Yeah. And that. Get another Sorry, in a pit. It is good that it is good uh, that they're calling uh, out what they're doing. Uh, so so that so so get so get yeah. <laughs> another downside of being split up. Okay. Uh, scout okay. stuck on the wall, uh, hoping for okay. a platform. Okay. All right. And where's, yeah, where's yeah. that is important to get, uh, get is, on top of. Did you does not have line of sight. Okay. <laughs> Go home. Go. Home. It, okay, so this this is actually worth noting. It's good if oh you God, have designated callouts for places that is unambiguous for teammates, so that if you have a, like a big storm or whatever, you can call out, quickly call out where you, the team wants to go, and it's unambiguous. Yeah. Most commonly, those locations would be like an established hold, or the mine head, or yeah, the starting room in some cases, uh, for things like egg missions or elimination missions. Shellback incoming. And it can be useful to have those points of reference for directing your team as well. Yeah. Yeah, having land having landmark callouts is very nice for navigating as well. Because even though there's a compass, um, it's probably the first you've heard about it. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't believe I have ever make made use of the compass directions. Because calling like calling okay the night the more the more kind of in in west or two hundred fifty degrees is, helps nobody. Ceiling purple. Up, yeah, up, up, up. though it actually does come in handy for escort missions because that is true. the drill dogs are always yeah. drills in the southwest menace, direction menace, yeah. menace. without fail. So that can help the entire team orient themselves towards where would the top. where is the drill okay. dogs are going to go. Yeah, I have enough nitro for another resupply. Yeah, I think over the year, over the years, <laughs> people have gotten very uh, much better at like, at actually specializing in what their classes are good at and leaving some enemies to other uh, or threats to other teammates. Or rather, people, I think people have learned yeah. to trust their teammates a lot more. Can I still get another flat up here? Yeah, because you realize that if you focus on what you're good at, they focus on what they're good at. Um, it makes everybody's that easy. It makes every yeah. It makes it makes all the work easier. Man, it's on you, Cole. That's fine. It's worth it. Their pacing is a little bit Ceiling. slow, I assume, because they have a hard time finding a quark sometimes. Get the other one near, near here. Yeah, but at least they're still cold. pushing it. No, actually, you should cover me. I'm fucking drilling, man. Probably could have done a. If they had been a little bit more coordinated together uh, after the egg swarm, they could have gotten a few more on parks in before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The swarm had hit. It's also worth kind of dividing which aquarks are going to be 
collected by which teammates because for example scout can collect the ones in higher up positions with support of engineer platforms for example and maybe driller gutter can an engineer can just go in tandem to collect the ones in, on the floor or whatever yeah it's also we're, we're hoping that more zip lines could potentially be set up to make traversal that much faster and easier yeah there's a couple set up already but there could be more because i think uh gunner has more re more zip lines in when they take resupplies than they actually use so far. Fuck you, awkward yeah. piece of shit. Okay. <laughs> Worth noting, going at the quarks will not make the connection process oh, go any faster. Worth noting that what? Uh, uh, swearing at the quarks doesn't make the connection process any faster. Swearing at the quarks. <laughs> yeah. No, unfortunately, no matter how mad you get at the quark, uh, it will not roll in a favorable direction. Just because you asked it nicely. Me, no. Okay. So, let's find seven nitrous somewhere. You can just have me know one more reason. Hit the ball in! Yeah. <laughs> they would like to get Hitting out there the as fast as possible. Go home! Home! <laughs> oh. Don't die. Yeah. I have two shields. Letting you all know right now. It's good also calling out, letting other teammates know what your skill situation, what your ammo situation is, so that they can more accurately assess whether they need to call resupply. I don't know what the next stage is, it could be good to call down another resupply. Oh, they have one down. Yeah, they do have some resupply down, but they'll definitely have to coordinate taking it. Medis, 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 medis. And it is worth noting that even though the ammo indicators uh, beneath each player icon are very useful, they don't, they don't always, they don't, they never tell you exactly what the player is missing. Yeah. Sometimes it might be even worth calling from resupply just for that one extra shield. It could be, it could make a lot of difference. Yeah. Fucking ash, 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 ash. I'm gonna die from DOP. I'm gonna die from DOP. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go away from home. All right. All right. I'm, I'm following. I'm following. Fine. Following. I'm following. I think PH's axe aim has gotten a lot better too. No, there's, oh, there's no reason for I think it's mostly because of lack of le le lack oh, of experience no, during these stages. Stage, yeah, yeah. Like once you have once you have seen a lot of BS, for example, in ND and L by two, whatever, you just kind of become a. Uh, you just kind of become better. Jaded. I'm just gonna start kiting. <laughs> you just kind of be better. You're less you're less surprised by bullshit. That, that, that's basically like the essence of it. And even if you're surprised by it, like. You can say, oh, that's kind of surprising, but uh, I've seen worse. Oh my god, yeah. you fucking whore. Low ground, in the pit. In the pit, in the pit. Yeah, so these zip lines zip are zip good. Lines very Helps helpful. the team to, yeah, Watch quickly ground. reach their destinations. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Didn't want those hit points anyway, I'm sure. Also, these explorers can be a bit dangerous. Okay. They got it. That was quite the drop on its point. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Okay, based on those comms, it sounds like this one is up. Last time we just got run oh, over by. Do not open Dorella as well. That sounds like not a first attempt. Yep. Yes. And then we start a Dorella. Field yeah. disruption. One of them is at the top, and the other one's in the bottom. Yes. I'll try to eat. We can resupply or I'll EPC the top one. We can you can just EPC it. It's not too it's not too thick. Okay. Shield disruption is fun. Um I think I'm gonna understand uh right the dwarves actually get a slight right. damage resistance buff during shield disruption. It wasn't too thick, it was kinda like hey, oh, that's true, yeah. But they don't have any shield. They get more health. I don't, okay, I think effectively more health with the damage resistance. Yeah, I know that I think numerically it says it's the same, but uh, it is effectively different because of the damage okay. resistance buff. For one, I need but of course, I need no shields, so that takes away some of your effective hit points and yeah, no uh, recharging having shields. Having more shields is also possibly annoying because trip damage now suddenly matter a lot more. Yes. 
and you don't have any shoes always almost taking away from your right shield yeah. rather than ordinarily where it just take away from your shield what what is the team deciding to do here just i'm assuming just go just hit it uh, it doesn't look it like, like they're, they're planning on going to the next cave, are they? Planning on resupplying, for sure. Oh, okay, fine. That's the probably good, because the cage is like critically low right, on sticky. Right. So, critically low, for sure. Okay? okay, they do clear the, decide to clear the first one, which is a valid choice. Yep. It can be good if you're, if you're not confident in your ability to take the breach uh, at full force. Or especially if you know, back up, back up, back up, back up. in this case, they have a little bit of foresight if they know the breach is particularly bad. Yeah. Also worth noting, creating the first room can be good if you don't have a resupply in the bank. That could be also another justification for going to the first room. True. It's one of but they probably want to push faster. Yeah. One of your earliest, and easiest opportunities for resupply. Menace. Yeah. Oh, here. I would even say maybe Medis Gunner can, can shoot out, but I think it's not necessary at this moment. Yeah. I don't care anymore. Alright, whatever. I'm not entirely sure what PH is doing. Yeah, I think PH is concerned about the menace, but PH should probably not be worried about the menace. And probably should need help to just be at the forefront of the group. The menace is like so far away. Uh, okay, I guess we most, mostly everything in that room is dealt with. No. Yeah. I think that... Unless the plan is to keep going forward, I think they need to hit the button and start. I'm gonna make a drilling route. Down. Yeah, we shall see what the plan is yes. there. I'm ready. I don't think it's worth spending any time or ammo on Nexus, which is not very yeah. special. But, yeah. Okay. Oh, let's start Julie. Yeah, I'm 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 a of a mixed thoughts on that because I honestly hate brute nexuses and the chip damage. I mean, I hate them. Cost. I, we are I hate them. Because I am the, heading the right direction. But they, right, but I have to admit, they yeah, are re really honestly yeah. low impact, and leaving them alive can save your timing. Yeah. Are they digging to the next room? So they're they're digging to the next room. There is no. Let me just widen this out. Uh, that is the actually the where they will stop for refuel. Yes. So the next thing it can make sense to drill to this if you're not really concerned with these abilities and you know the room is bad, for example. Oh what? Okay. Yeah. I've yet to see, but I theorize that the next room must look pretty bad. Yeah. It's usually modern nowadays. People just <laughs> they just take what they're handed. They don't worry about this regen. shield. I, I think it's a little bit too conservative. I would like to maybe see a more aggressive shield out into the room just so they can get line of sight into space rooms they can clear. Uh, that's actually not the room, uh, that's the okay. way they spawn behind. Okay, okay, never mind. The C4, the C4 is the next one. Yeah. So yeah, the, the trade off of not starting through those immediately is you can get. You can I'm get not gonna space. call in the tunnel. Should we call in the tunnel or back there? You can get more ambient waves. I don't know, dude. Which... And that, alone, that itself can be put more pressure on the nitrate situation. Yeah. So it's a trade of worth considering. I love... It's certainly a trade off of pacing versus safety. Yeah. In, in that a... sense, sometimes if you know the nitro is low on the stage, this, this is something like. Feeling like this is something you cannot afford to because you don't have enough nitro to pull it up. Mm -hmm. And this is a 60 nitro dive, so the nitro is a little tighter. Should be pretty reasonable though. Back up, get away from the EMD, dude. Oh, EMD discharge is actually kind of painful on this stage because you're this much. Okay, guys, back up. Uh, yeah, back up. the friendly back. fires. Really bad there. Yeah, just... Also, the pacing on this is kind of right? concerning because they really want Gunner to lead the charge with a shield, aggressive shield, just yep. to shield out and force their way into the room. Otherwise, they're going to be stuck here dealing with the trigger of encounter response for quite a while.
I think people have gotten a lot better uh, with more experience and they, in terms of how to aggressively reach a move. Reach, 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 reach. Yep, this could be opened up a little bit more. Spitballer is. What? How? Where's my hot? Spitballer's right there. Spitballer. Spitballer left. Spitballer left. Breeder! Oh my god, the breeder was in the way. I'm not sure yeah. this Ball's room activated. was actually that bad. There's a second fucking spitballer, okay. Oh my god, I'm Maybe it was just a very challenging for back then when people weren't that experienced. I wonder. That is most certainly possible. Because back then, like, since my two escort was like one of the hardest mission types. Okay. When okay, breaches, the breaches can move in. The breaches were still pretty brutal. In there? Yeah, definitely uh, aggressive shielding, especially the large shields, can be yeah. better for positioning. Uh, would help figure out the stationaries a lot faster. When you've got boomstick to enable BB, that can that that little that combo eliminates spitballers very quickly, and then that makes the room safe to traverse for most of the rest of the team. Also, could maybe see some more PP usage here. I feel like Peach hasn't used a lot of PP back, back, well, back then. Where they seem to be very afraid of breaching. Spitballer, 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 spitballer left. Yeah. Spitballer left. Like the same players nowadays will just like instantly yes, go into the room. <laughs> Man, 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 man. No hesitation. <laughs> yeah, no hesitation. Just, just, just one spitballer, one, one breeder. What's there to worry about? Yeah, and something that makes uh, post driller a lot less afraid of spitballers, despite not being able to kill them, is the trick for drilling, oh, drilling down the spitballs. They do aggro on mini mule. That's interesting because I think they're gonna take the swarm here. Yes. Yes, you do get a little bit of nitro from repairing a mini mule, but at the, the trade off is yes, you do get a swarm. Head bounce moment. That is a good point. So if you have a Nexus in the line of spirit, the player can keep shooting at it until it runs out of ammo or the Nexus pops. Yeah. And for some reason, Nexus seem to have a very high priority. Yeah, they can be really annoying. The turrets are very useful when they've got their ammo, but if they yeah, waste but it all on the it's just use truly useless. Mostly for like stun utility, mm -hmm. and taking care of little like little trash enemies. That like, those are very good. Okay. It's very good at that too. The, but the, the shooting the in the Nexus, like the least useful single turrets can do. Hitting the mule. Yeah, coordinating EMD on shield disruption. Is a thing of the past now. <laughs> Wait, more spawns. I think I think having some friendly fire is, is a little is a good little challenge back then. Yeah, and on the sh when when it was just when it shield chip damage is a lot less significant right. though. One stopping the shield regeneration is pretty annoying. No, should I just drew can I use even? I'm gonna die. I'm I just bounced off the next because I'm, why not? I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna pop the next surge. Okay, ready? Yes. So obviously a little trick, you can, you can, uh, you can position and time your stream of flame such that when the nexus pops, you use target explode and get the entire cloud of swarmers that spawn. Yeah, and that saves a lot of ammo. I remember there was a video of someone actually made, the tunnel, uh, right? believe which, there's a particular direction or something. Yeah, demonstrating I, exactly which I side of the Nexus it came out. Like, yeah. I unfortunately Can, never yeah. was able to figure out. I never it explicitly paid attention to that and just kind of winged it. The entire swarm is if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. <laughs> That's another resupply that just got caught. So this is taking a lot of resources. Yeah. 
I guess that they are trying to get both meals before they start the dozer. Yeah, I believe they might have gotten overwhelmed with both like refueling, refueling and dealing with uh, well, breaching, refueling and also dealing with like um, mini meals at the mule. same time. I imagine that can definitely get overwhelming. This tunnel will lead to mule. So, uh, an, an important note for the mini mule objective: you can complete the dozer completely before, before repairing any of the mules. Yeah, that is always an option as well. Unless, like, the radar just directly drives to the mini mule, in which case it might be a bit unfortunate. Like the first mule yeah. was positioned close enough that it probably would have been a problem for the team. So Peach is gonna trigger the mini mule here again. There'll be another swarm. Another thing this players have got. This particular location at. isn't very good for fighting because of the immediately there's a ledge. So it's they might want to do this quickly and get out of it. Another thing uh, modern players have gotten better at is uh, if you don't activate the mule right until you've got all the legs, I am hitting the you mule. can actually fix the mule before the wave even spawns. Yeah, that is true. A, Takes a little bit of finesse though. Yeah, I just, got it. I just got it. Okay. Okay, we got that. Okay. Are we all good? Yeah, I, ma I imagine like the breaching mixed with many new ways definitely overwhelmed the team in the previous run. Okay, well, I am good on ammo. I am, I am mostly good. I'm guessing the audio studies on recording first. No, I'm not good. I tried to get some. Skull dying here is a little bit unfortunate. Bit sad, yeah. Not super great for pacing, but... I was like an inch too far too. Okay, alright now? It's minor overall. Okay, okay. Get back to this, get back to Dolly, and let's start it. Okay. Hey, the team finally <laughs> started the dozer after a little bit of pre-drilling. There's one resupply still at spawn. Worst key, also worth uh, noting where spare resupplies are, so oh, you can be on top of your resupplies at all times. Yep. Well, I want health, not ammo. Yeah. Health back there. Oh, he's already grabbing yeah, the other. I tried grabbing, but then I just died. Okay, okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I think spawns, something to note: spawns, opening spawns, the spawns, box spawns. on the dozer does not oh. actually I'm going make the red up honorable. Yeah. Also, if, if uh, the team was a bit more decisive there, they could have avoided this okay. ambient swarm. Yeah. If uh, Scout... Because nowadays, when if you do any pre-drilling, uh, one of the strategies is to let Scout go back and start the dozer before the rest of the team catches up. Because Scout can get yeah. quickly, and there's not much risk of any swarms coming once the button's been pushed. So the dozer is yeah, the say, uh yeah, because as far as I know, like uh -huh. when you start the drill dozer, it kind of s uh, suspends the normal ambient swarm timers and just re uh, starts a different script for yeah, like the drill dozer yeah, itself. Yes, now. as far as I know, that is good. Yes, which I would like to start prevents normal waves from happening, as well as regular yeah. swarms. Oh, someone grab the last resupply. I'm, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna grab I'll it. do it. Okay. I think right. I think the drill dozer script is also programmed in such a way that. It kind of starts spawning enemies when you're into a wall, so you get you get a bit of a breathing room or grace period before that. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how that timing works yeah. out, but it it seems to sometimes be related to either how quickly it reaches the next uh, tunnel or how quickly it gets into a wall, and it's weirdly variable. But there's usually a bit of breathing room. Uh, right after you start the dozer, as you said. Yep. Me, also like worth noting, you don't actually always have to be on top of the radar if the terrain... Uh, or sometimes it's even beneficial to not be on top of the radar if the terrain is particularly dangerous if or no undesirable. The rest of the cave, we might yeah. Sometimes, because the radar can even go vertical at times, which is very unhelpful. Uh, driller can make a separate path for the team is, if, it's that, if that's more convenient or more safe. Or a bit of both. And Doretta also pulls uh, aggro from spitters and stuff sometimes, yep. which actually can be very detrimental because if you're standing on the dozer, they will shoot at the dozer and you can be the one that gets hit instead. Yeah. And Although a be benefit of, of being on drill dozer is that usually ground enemies will prioritize attacking Doretta instead of you. Yeah, that is more like. Or rather, they can't reach you. Usually because they can't. Unless from the ceiling. Yeah. 
pop, popping the shale. Yeah, it's good that to see that the team is going on, getting on top of refilling very quickly. Uh, getting, getting oil show more accessible to the people who are doing the refilling. Uh, during refilling, you usually want two teammates, one one with each canister, to be on the refill duty immediately. You don't want to waste any time before yeah, announcing the spawn. Oil like yeah. Now. You just pop the next room. Is that really the next room? Yeah, no, that's no, that's room. connected. That's connected. Oh, this, oh, this is connected. Okay. Are they trying to be through to the next room? Uh, I think they just thought they accidentally hit the next room. No, okay. No oil, even. No oil in there. Nope, okay, so no now they're looking here. for an right, shit. Alright, right, if there's still more- Okay, I'm- I'm- There's like two jumps over there. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of inefficiency right, here because there's only one person right, on right, the right, refilling, right, it seems right, like. Yeah. Yep. That's still, it should okay, be done relatively quickly. Yeah. We'll deal with audio, yeah? If they miss the first- right. If they can skip the swarm, then they will have done quite well. I think with their pacing currently, I think they are able to complete it before the first uh, before the announce wave is happening. I'm trying to figure out where they are attacking it. Fucking piece of shit. That is, un oh, that is unfortunate. Should we right, stack? Let's go. No, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go. We need yeah. to go. Right. They are making the decision to oh, go. So what hit me? <laughs> it can be dangerous. In, in the sense that if you get sandwiched between encounter spawns, stationaries, and the announce wave behind you, it can get really bad really fast. Hit the button! Hit button, hit button, it, hit but button. it also makes sense to go go now if the team doesn't have that much nitro to spare for the final, final stages. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. oh, and I think this is getting no, a little can't... bit messy. How are we gonna get him off, dude? I'm not sure uh, how the the wave controller interacts with the swarm if it puts a pause to the swarm or not but i don't think it does like if an announce wave gets executed i think i think it just gets executed hmm. fun which means they're looking at something very very tense right now this is going to be a bit awkward because everyone's kind of low and now a shield's used already so the shield's on cooldown some engineers down behind I think the team needs to back what's off from the drill dozer and try to recover engineer before trying to breach. It's okay if they lose a side here. Oh, shit. Yeah, something fun to note about Doretta is that the sides do not have equal hit points. The, I did not know that. The main body actually has substantially more hit points than the sides. That does actually, make sense. So it actually makes repairing you easier need to once you, you get need to save that through uh, sides. Yeah. yeah, good call on needing to save that shield for a breach. But I think they do need to get engineer up. It's okay if the team has to back up on Doretta for a while. In a sense, it might even make sense for the team to completely back off the previous room. Just to try to recover engineer Yeah. Calling resup, calling resup, calling resup. That's not good. They don't, you never want to be out of minigun ammo or other kind of ammo if possible. Yeah, there's a, you can only hope that the gun still has a shield. Yeah, that is also true. Do you have shield? I think the gunner does have a shield they can expand here to get both Pretty engineer good. up and also for the team to resupply. But that means that the shield will be on cooldown and they can't use it to protect okay, okay, themselves okay, 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 or okay, okay, use okay, it to okay, press okay, and okay, breach okay, a new room if the drill those breaches the next room. Okay, okay, which I think okay, is what happens okay. here. Yeah. I think teams have been better at going at giving up the radar a little bit and going move, going move, back I'm gonna, I'm a, bit just, more, for, a bit more passive okay. do, when it's do, 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 when it's necessary yeah and this is actually a small room so it's pretty free um, yeah not very much in the way from counters or stationings oh, we just have to pick up this is so stressful. they definitely should uh be going to go pick up i think that i think drillers should not be repairing the retta here and need to go back to help get teammates up yep agree the, with the amount of enemies here, Drodozer won't even lose a side by the time they revive someone and go back to killing any, everything and fixing it. It's not it's not worth Drillers spending their attention here, not using the sticky fuel to help get, get people up. I think with more experience, people also have gotten a lot better at budgeting the red health. And the time spent to repair versus fighting enemies versus getting people up. Yeah. 
protect you a little bit. Just a little bit? Only a little bit? Only a little bit. <laughs> I think we've also gotten a little, yeah, a little more better at handling the actual armor and heartstone phase. You'll, you'll turn your which me. means if there's a less pressure to budget sides for that phase. Yeah. I'm dashing. BC is a good weapon. Please, 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 no, please, no. We're breaching very soon. We're breaching very soon. Yep, it's Watch always good to come out when you're breaching so people don't get surprised and they can be on top of when to hold, where to hold, and if they're gonna push or they can stay behind in the tunnel. Yep. Calling reach up, calling reach up. Being surprised by a more breach is terrible. More spitballers. Especially when it's got a lot of stationaries or encounters. Yep. It can be good for Gunner to expand the shield aggressively to push out into the room to kill the dangerous stationaries. This is a this very shield, good shield is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, but it's a big shield, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna die. I think the shield is actually in a pretty good place because it gave you a lot of line of sight around where yeah, yeah. the most the the most. I thought it kind of got stuck behind the tunnel, but apparently it's pretty out in the open, which is good. Yeah. I got the fucking like down the message. Another word goes down here, but it's not really problematic. We can pretty much clear the room. I healed when I died. Okay, grab Grab any nitrous that was back there. Grab nitrous that's in here, and we're started. Yeah, we gather the nitra and then start. There's nitra right there. They have, uh, also, people have learned that it's a pretty, it's a good idea to put some repellent here, which is actually done also, here already. Please That's good. I mean, robot, please remember That's cool. The rocks. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times, like a lot of engineers overlook the uh, how how beneficial it is to kind of guide bugs through couple of tight chokes, it saves a lot of ammo and also helps you avoid being surprised by things behind you. That's Fuck a cloud. You. Quite. I'm not with you Good C4. Either. And uh, Sticky Fuel pretty much eats up all the trash, so there's only like a presses and Praetorians to deal with. Right. Yep. I need to refuel my Sticky. Fuel is out of Sticky, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I think people also have gotten a lot better at keeping track of the ammo count to never pretty like basically run completely dry. If you run completely dry, sometimes it makes getting a resupply very difficult. Do not put it on yeah. the turret. Seems like a very bad idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm uh, I mean, okay, where should I, I fucking the, stick this then? Yeah, the the, the resupply here is kind of uh, annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna get another resupply. Trying to figure out. Do you know that? You know that it blocks the gift flame like should, line of sight this, like, and line of application, yeah, and I'm then you can't really right shoot right through it. Right now. Yep. But bugs can climb There's on it and no get you. Back there and nothing at all? Just yeah. Get another one. Attract, yeah. Nothing. Okay. It's also right, worse. Uh, it's it's yeah, good that it. you we put most of resupplies at the same clear location so that you can coordinate when everybody gets resupply. Gunner can put a can I put a shield down and uh, allows everyone to get the resupply at the same location but it's also good to save one or two resupplies incoming, incoming, that can be placed incoming. in another location in case that in case with the majority resupplies are isn't accessible immediately yep i think my preference is to stack half and half in two locations yeah that makes a lot of sense many resupplies you, cut, you, you uh, want to call and stacking resupplies right on top of each other is also pretty useful for space Nowadays, though, that kind of either requires a mod or requires some some more juggling. Make sure to repair once in a while. I'll be on repair duty. Don't worry. All right, it's gonna blow yeah. very soon. Yep. Also worth noting what the team decides to do here for the rock face. You can either use platforms to tank the rocks, or you can just repair it. Flats, flats, flats. They are going for. For platforms. Plats, plats, plats. If they're going for plats, it's worth pre-setting up some platform bridge just so that you can make it easy. Uh, it makes it easier. Well, there's not much to do there because the dozer will wipe away all of the terrain. I mean, as in, like, if it's a little bit far away from the nearest wall, it can be worth pre-setting up a little bit. Yeah. It, yeah. Obviously, most of it will get destroyed if it's too close 
to the hostel. I'm getting. Okay. Warden, warden, warden box, warden box, warden box. I got slashed. I'm shielding again. Yeah, if, if, if it's the platform status relied upon, then it's very important sorry, to keep dude. engineer alive and protect Why? engineer from us. The because the attack now will be mostly the on batting yeah, against rocks. Yeah, not not quite enough uh, sticky being here. laid around. Yeah. Can you plat that? Oh my god. Plats. Incoming. Rising, 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 rising. The last base can actually get kind of spicy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just fuck it. Or it's not dying. Fuck Usually the first phase, the second phase, with all the rock, the rock phase, and even the third phases are not very problematic. I find like the final stage actually does more. No, I can get you. I can, I can get it. I... Are you sure? It, gets surprising, it can get surprisingly hectic yes. during the final stage sometimes. Yeah. Not quite sure why. I yeah. I think it's just because Ow! of how much. I, I don't care anymore. And iron will goes up. Probably not necessary, but you know, doesn't hurt. Yep. Holy, holy. They have no. uh, three. They still have all their sides, I got which is very time. good. Well, what happened there? <laughs> I... Well, of course. <laughs> I think that is some audio we have a few. weirdness. We have, a few. we have a few. Swarmers on you, swarmers on you, swarmers on you. Kaboom! Kaboom! It is yeah. worth Stop. noting that if you stand on Threader, yeah, you no, will no. get launched by the Hearthstone explosion. Yes. Could probably leave the right behind a little bit and try to focus the engineer up. Jules also have a lot of damage resistance on six by two already. At this point, do you think we could just fucking survive and just is? We might be able to tank. That's a good point. They have enough health of the radar. You pretty much sit back, occasionally repair, and let let the radar just tank through the whole thing. They might not even need to repair because they've got all the sides. Yeah. That's true. Uh, they still the need to right? worry about uh, actually yeah, taking out bugs, so more sticky. Yeah. I'm already in the armor. More sticky for sure. Yeah. Well, Toretta should be able to tank all this. Okay. Yeah, that's how we're going. Yeah, as you get more experience, mo as people get yeah, more experience in mod, uh, they can be increasingly better at uh, juggling dude, between them and. Right? Juggling between drilling and putting down sticky. No, it's very important to keep sticky up at all times when there's a lot of bugs. Yep. Uh, I'm kind of worried though. It's gonna be, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. They have more than enough yeah, health to tank this. Yeah. Uh, it looks. Uh, it would it would be quite concerning if the main body had the same amount of hit points We're as fine. the. We are fine. We are fine. Uh, sides. However, it has, more, it has more hit points, Why? so they should be just fine. Oh, we're good. We're good. Cool. Okay, pick him up. Let's get out of here. Pick him up, and let's get the fuck out of here. How many resupplies do we have? None. We have a I see two. I see two. Hey, guys. There it's might be a wave a, that just spawns. Almost right a silly out. question, but I wonder what uh, PH's FPS was. I, I, only, I have no shields. I, I have no shields. It looks it's not, okay. not, just, not that high. There's two oh. resupplies. Uh, top right corner, he's yeah. getting FPS okay. counter, so it's about 60. Right, someone else should. I don't know who should. I, I think that's not accurate for some of the more intensive fights. Well, yeah, it's probably I'll, lower I'll take this last resupply. This is also recording. I just think about that because the sticky flames sometimes look a little spotty, and as we have known, well, it's not. It's not, it's not just looks a bit spotty. It is actually spotty. It is actually spotty. Um, and as we know, do not fucking... sticky fuel placement, the sticky fire placement, is affected Guys, by right. your frame rate. Guys, it's right there. It's yes, yeah, because he walked away from it. That's why he walked away, and that's based on this position. That's why it's back over here. They did a drop pop. Yep. 
fight. Okay. So now we have the entire Omarin room to fight. Let's go. Do not fucking. I, I did my job. Yes, you did. Yes, I you did, fucking. I didn't even did. realize where you were. <laughs> Drop on flip can be uh, big time savings. Oh, that means we can bring Dottie if we can find her. No, no. no. Fuck Dottie. Fuck Dottie. Her no, fuck the woman. <laughs> It's kind of awful, but get, in. Uh, get the fuck. <laughs> Don't get the no! 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 If I were to guess by the comments, First I'd say that they've go. possibly done this dive a few times. I assume more than one time just because they seem to desperately want to finish. <laughs> yes. We did it, boys. Congratulations. My very first six times two deep dive. Same. I, that's Same. it for all of us. That's. There you go. I took a screenshot of that shit. Yeah, I'm taking one too. PH yep. carry. Yep. Yeah, PH carry for sure. What a PH carry. So that was that was their first, one of their first six x two dives, if not the first six x two dive you, yeah, I that see. they ever did. You can definitely see the some of the inexperiences. Yeah, yeah, which is kind of kind of crazy. Um, Considering what the skill level these players today. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's, people don't have that many downs, so it's actually pretty good for a no, actually, six by two. PH only has two downs is uh yeah. generally kind of impressive. Not that downs yeah, are like, necessarily a metric of doing poorly, but yeah. um it is an it's, observation. Can, more downs can mostly be frustrating for yourself, not even necessary for the team. Because sometimes yes, you go down a lot, but it's not really consequential for the mission success. Yeah. Some downs are uh, a lot more impactful than others, and some of them when you're with your team don't really matter yeah but i think i uh i think i understand why ph suggested this video now it's definitely very interesting so. you can tell that people are a bit stressed especially because considering it's probably not their first yeah this is not their first attempt yeah and uh going through the effort of pre-drilling the heartstone is Certainly an attempt out of desperation, in some ways. Yeah, it, it's definitely, definitely has, that section has definitely led to previous failures for them to consider such a drastic approach. Because even, even though it's safer in some ways, it's still a risky play to pre-drill the heartstone because of nitro pressure if you're yeah. having trouble. So they, they went for it. It did work out in the end, so that's what matters. But yeah, overall, a, a good, uh, a good first, like, or one of the first dives for the involved players. Yeah, definitely one of the dives of all times. It's very interesting to see, like, to see people who are experienced now compared, like, and in terms of how they play now versus when they first started out. Yeah, you can see some of like the pitfalls uh, that they fell into that they uh, back then that they are they breeze through now. 